Herman B. Wells is no stranger to IU Faithful. He's IU's most famous president, has a library named in his honor, there's even a bronze statue of his likeness on campus. But those who never had the pleasure of meeting Wells might wonder, what was he like? A closer look at some of Wells' belongings reveals a portrait of one of IU's most beloved figures. Maybe a life in education was in Wells' blood. After all, his father was a teacher and principal who used this school bell to beckon students back to class. The heirloom was passed down to Herman, and it became a permanent fixture on his desk during his time as IU president, though it was more emblematic than functional. For Wells, the bell was a symbol of his duty to guide the university, all students, faculty, and staff, towards success. Herman's high school classmates had him pegged. His 1920 senior yearbook noted, Herman is known for three paramount reasons. First, his minute size. Second, his business head and pecuniary wisdom. And third, his musical ability. The second reason, his business savvy, proved spot on. Only 15 years later, Wells would wear this tassel as dean of what is now IU's Kelly School of Business. Herman's hankering for the banana and strawberry filled Wells cake was well documented, but what were his other favorite fares? Recipe boxes from his former residence give us some clues. A Hoosier at heart, Wells was partial to anything persimmon. He also had a sweet tooth for down-home desserts, as evidenced by these handwritten notes that declare, HBW wants this and keep always, on recipes for peach cobbler and old-fashioned apple dumplings. Would you guess that cruising county roads was one of Wells' favorite ways to unwind? A 1938 Indianapolis Star interview with Wells' mother, Anna, revealed the enjoyment he got from hitting the open road. Mrs. Wells said that she thinks her son gets more pleasure and relaxation from taking long automobile drives than anything else. Wells was a strong believer in the value of a global perspective and made international studies a primary focus of his presidency. Flip through passports from his tenure as president and you'll see proof of this commitment. Among his extensive travels was a particularly eventful trip to post-World War II Berlin where Soviet Union soldiers arrested him for what amounted to be a big misunderstanding. Undeterred by the hassle, Wells' wanderlust continued for years after the event for both business and pleasure. Perhaps no truer portrayal of Wells is written than IU Press's Certificate of Appreciation declaring April 26 Herman B. Wells Day. This proclamation sheds light on Wells's most endearing and enduring quality, his compassion for others. And it's this legacy that continues to shape IU and the IU family still today. Thank you.